An update now on a big story tonight. On Wednesday, FWC agents and staff rescued a distressed sawfish in the Florida Keys. Noah now confirming this is the first sawfish to be brought into a marine facility to try and save it. Local 10's Louis Aguirre has the latest on this marine mystery. There have been multiple responses, but this is the first time that an animal was um, rescued. It was an urgent operation. FWC agents and staff from Moat Marine Lab in Cudjo Bay Saturday responding to this distressed small tooth sawfish after witnesses observed it swimming in circles. It takes a lot of hands coming at the fish from different directions in order to stabilize the fish. Once stabilized, it was carefully transported by boat to the Moat Research Center at Summerlin Key, where trained veterinarians immediately began care. We were uh, giving it fluids, lipids, um, trying to strengthen the animal. Once vets and FWC biologists deemed it was responding well, the decision was made to move the sawfish to a bigger moat facility in Sarasota. This is video from Thursday of the animal being loaded into a tank on a special trailer provided by Ripley's Aquarium for transport. In this new facility, the animal is swimming in reasonably stable condition. This the first successful rescue and rehabilitation attempt since NOAA launched an unprecedented emergency response April 1st after dozens of the critically endangered species began washing up dead, mostly in the lower keys, with more than 150 other eyewitness reports of sawfish swimming erratically and distressed from Key West all the way north to the Boynton Beach Inlet. You know, obviously this is you know step one in a, a much larger issue, and uh, we're, we're super excited about the progress to date. As of Wednesday, 38 sawfish have been reported dead since January, according to FWC. This as more than 70 other species of fish have also been documented behaving bizarrely, spinning, swimming upside down. And what's causing this is still a mystery. It just doesn't seem to be letting up and we still don't know what the cause is. Meanwhile, this sawfish might just get a second chance. We're ready, willing, and able to support it in its rehabilitation process for as long as it takes until we can get this animal back out into the wild. That's our goal. And scientists still have not found the smoking gun that's causing this. They're focusing on an overabundance of gamete discus in the water samples taken from the lower keys. That's a benthic microalgae is often toxic and linked to ciguatera the toxin that causes seafood poisoning in humans. So far, the Department of Health says there are no humans that have gotten sick. It's so important more now than ever before to please report the stress sawfish that you see immediately to FWC. We have that hotline for you and so much more info in our web story. Just scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure page on local10.com.